Hi everyone, we'll be working on using patterns in solving equations today. So let's start. But before everything else, we would like to um, share our thought about what makes Mother's Day special. I'll give you a minute to do that. It was nice to really celebrate Mother's Day, right? Like to give mom a special day. And um, today's goal is to solve equations using patterns. So our task for today is um, let's solve and discuss this one. So the table shows how many candles are in different numbers of boxes. So find a pattern that explains the relationship between the values of C and B. Use words and numbers to describe the pattern. How many candles will there be in 10 boxes? Solve this problem in any way you choose. So let's check what you guys, what answers you have. So here are the table. So number of candles will be eight. There will be two boxes. If there are three boxes, there will be 12 candles. If there are four boxes, there are gonna be uh, 16 candles. So how many boxes will there be? All right? Um, how many candles will there be in 10 boxes? I mean, all right, let's see what your answer So Winnie said that C is four times greater than B So in 10 boxes, there will be 40 candles Let's see more answers Deepani Chan also said C equals four times greater so 40 candles in 10 boxes so in this case um this is amy um, she divided eight and two to get four and to identify how many are in each box so now she multiplied 10 boxes for each number of candles in a box to get 40 candles in all that's correct too these answers from helena so the number of candles C is 4 times the number of boxes, which is B. So therefore, there will be 40 candles in 10 boxes, or 10 times 4 equals 40. Here's another answer from Zillin. So he also got 40 candles. Another solution from Kishan. So um, making ratio 8 to 2, 4 to 1. So therefore, you're going to have 40 to 10. Joy created this relationship. So 8 divided by 4, so all of them could be divisible by 4. So what is that number that we use? So we could divide by 4 to get 7. So to reverse that, 10 times 2 plus 40. So that's going to be 40 divided by 4 is 10. Another solution from Thomas. Alright, so today we're going to work on exercise 1. We'll check what pattern will you look for to find the cost of the 6 tickets in the stable. And we'll also need to find what are independent and dependent variable. Let's check Sabas. Find a pattern to write and solve an equation. Think about this question during the lesson. The table shows the cost of weekend tickets to the slide and splash water park. Find a pattern between the number of tickets, N, and the cost, C, of the tickets. Write a rule and an equation that represents the pattern. How much would six tickets cost? Let's start finding the rule for this table. So we need to find how much is six 
um the cost of six tickets so we need to find um how to find the um, the rule for this one by finding the unit rate if you still remember so to find the unit rate we're gonna divide 1650 right we're gonna divide 1650 by three and with that we could get 550 or 5.5 .5. then that 5.5 .5 will be the cost of each ticket so 5.5 will be um cost for one ticket okay so with that we could we could make a rule of five and i mean 5.5 .5 times the number of um ticket or we could just simply do 5.5 n and with that said, we could just multiply 5.5 times 6. And if you do your um, calculation, that's going to be 33. Okay. So this is going to be your rule. The rule applies in every single part of the table. So if you're going to say 5.5 times 3, that gives you 1650. 5.5 uh, times 4 that gives you 22 5.5 times 5 gives you 2750 and 5.5 times 6 will give you um, 33 if in case there is an n so we don't we don't know what is the number of tickets you're gonna buy so your rule gonna be five your cost gonna be 5.5 times whatever the n gonna be so you could just skip 5.5 n as a cost for n number of tickets tickets what are the dependent and independent variables why look for the relationship between the number of tickets and the cost of the tickets the independent variable is n and the dependent variable is c the cost depends on the number of tickets. To make sense of the problem, find the price of one ticket. Find the price of one ticket, P, when three tickets cost $16.50. What property of equality was used to solve the equation? Select your answer. One ticket costs $5.50. Check the cost for four and five tickets. Why is it important to check the costs for four and five tickets? So it is important to solve it that, It is right? important to check the costs for four and uh, five tickets. So it's to make sure that the rule applies to everything so if you check the four times for 550 is 22 and so on like what we did a while ago so that means that if that rule applies to each one and that rule works four and five tickets because you must make sure the rule works for all the related numbers in the table state the rule the total cost C is five dollars and fifty cents times the number of tickets n write an equation so that will be the rule that applies for this table right so whatever number that you can apply for n will be applicable so if you want to check the 5.5 times 6 that will give you um, 5n right so the cost of six tickets is $33 how was the equation used to find the cost of six tickets so we could substitute the value for n or whatever number of n there will be all right so the cost for six tickets is $33. So let's make sure you have the dollar sign of it. Let's look at example number two. Ethan owes his mother $75.
he repays his mother a set amount each week. How much will Ethan owe his mother after 12 weeks? In this case, we're just going to check the pattern that was given in the table. If you look at this, there is um, week zero. Um, he ha he owes 75 minus zero dollars to get 75 dollars so he oh but if you notice that looks like he's paying five dollars every week based on the table so for week one he pays seven um he paid five dollars so 75 minus five times um uh, minus five times one which is week one so now he owes 70. if you look at week four 75 minus five times four because it's week four so they're gonna be 75 minus 20 that gives you 55 looking at the pattern we could also say at 12 weeks so you could also say 75 minus 5 day pays um, um every week and this is a 12 week and then we don't know how much is it yet right so now we could say 75 minus 60 so it looks like he still owe uh, $15 at 12 weeks so if you were asked how many more weeks he can pay off uh, you could always look back to how much he's paying for um, weekly so he pays five so at this point of time if you want to know how many more weeks he can you could just simply divide 15 and the amount he pay weekly so he still needs to pay uh, within three weeks all right uh, he could pay off his um, the amount he owe for seven five dollars so 12 plus three weeks he needs 15 weeks total to pay off but uh, how much will Eden owe his mother after 12 weeks so our answer is 15 okay so with that i want you to go to google classroom and check your task for today it's lesson 4.9 right it's from envision and i'll check it back later enjoy your day guys stay safe until next time bye, -bye. Uh -huh.